Hey guys, welcome back. Today is going to be my March favorites and I have a lot of good stuff to share with you this month. This this makes me look like a linebacker. First thing I want to talk about is It's a 10. I have several products that have done amazing things to my hair. They are a multifunctional hair care line that pretty much creates healthy shiny hair after the first use. They're a professional salon quality with really good ingredients for your hair because there's 10 things on the back that it claims to do for your hair. It's cruelty free all the ingredients are um, really beneficial for your hair and it really and the stuff delivers um, long before I partnered with them for this video I actually used their products it, I actually used this leave-in treatment conditioner which kind of launched my whole obsession into it's a 10 but this is a leave-in um, conditioner that conditions the hair makes it shiny frizz free it locks in moisture that's like the main thing that I love about this line is that it really locks in moisture for my hair because my hair is so dry and I have to be honest like over process because I really have an obsession with like just getting my hair to the perfect color the miracle silk smoothing balm you can apply this to wet hair this to wet hair as well and also this one is the miracle defrizzing gel this is like been amazing for my hair, especially if I don't feel like blow drying it. This, because I feel like when my hair air dries, it air dries less frizzy. If my hair air dries, I literally look like I'm homeless. It just makes the natural like condition of my hair just less frizzy and a lot more manageable rather than just letting it air dry and putting no product in there. So this is an awesome product for those of you who like to air dry their hair and not necessarily blow dry it all the time. It is the Miracle Silk Conditioner and Shampoo. These are sulfate free, so it's not gonna strip your hair of any type of color. And especially for me, when it, since I have like the gray tones in my hair, it fades after like the first wash. It sucks, but that's just how high maintenance having gray silver hair is. And honestly, it helps it kind of prolong that grayish silver hair. These two also do a really good job of keeping my hair really shiny and manageable with the rest of the line. It's honestly, one of my favorite lines ever. So I will link all of these products below and I have a discount code for you. This video is sponsored by It's a 10, so they also um, offered a coupon code for you guys, which I will link below, as well as all my products that I showed in this video. I think it is one of the best hair care lines that really give you smooth, like manageable hair, especially if you like have cotton head and Nitty Muggins hair like me. I have struggled with dry, frizzy hair all of my life. And I'm telling you that these help my hair so, so much. Next couple of products, I've been loving the Bare Pros. Um, this is the powder foundation. I've been wearing this constantly. They sent me two colors. This is a really nice foundation if you're not wanting to, if you need something really quick to throw on your face. Product is really buildable, but it also adds, adds coverage, but not kicky coverage. So I've been really enjoying this and I think that it's a really good buy. I've been obsessed with this bronzer from Thrive's Cosmetic, Thrive Cosmetic. This is the Rhea Blur and Sculpting Bronzing Powder. Um, that is the shade. I feel like this shade is absolutely perfect. And I don't know so much if it like really blurs when it goes on, but it definitely um, applies like almost a blurring product would. Very easy, very easy to blend out on the skin. And I feel like this is the perfect bronzer color. That's the shade right there, so pretty. Um, really like one of the best bronzers that I've tried. I try a lot of bronzers, I have a shit ton. Two blushes that have like rocked my world. As So this is the Jouer um, Adore Blush Duo. If you are looking for the perfect peach combination, look no further because these two like are the perfect neutral pink colors. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury um, blush and glow. Look at these shades. They have kind of a sheen to them, so it's not completely matte, but they're also really pretty on the skin. They blend nicely. I use them by like swirling the two together and just throwing them on my cheeks. And this shade, every time I wear it on camera or in person, I just like cannot stop looking at my sculpted cheeks if I do say so myself. Earthy Blush from Burberry. That is the shade right there. I don't think this is discontinued. If it is, I'm gonna feel like a jackass. I feel like it's the perfect nude blush slash contour for light to fair skin because it's not harsh and I like to use it as 
a blush for days where I'm doing like a really dark eye. I'm obsessed with the Pat McGrath lipsticks. I mean, the pigmentation's amazing, the colors are amazing, and I just love her lipsticks, to be honest. So the first shade I have is Lust Angeles. Angeles is more of a, um, let me scoot in. Lust Angeles is more of like a deep brown color. And then um, Donatella, which is one of my favorites. That is more, it's lighter and a little bit more on the mauve side. It is 1995. Oh. It's matte, so these two are like the luxe shades, so they have a little bit of sheen. They're more of like a satin, um, glossy finish. This is completely matte, and it's my favorite, probably because it is matte, and that is 1995. And I mean, literally, it's like a primer and lipstick in one. It just glides on the lips, and it doesn't settle into any line. I highly suggest those lipsticks. They're probably my favorite purchase of last year. So let me know what you guys think of this video, if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time.